Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time I made a video about a printer I recently bought. It's an Epson EcoTank ET8550 or also called L8180 on some markets. This is the flagship of uh, the Epson EcoTank series. It can print on a maximum size of A3 plus or 13 inch by 19 inch sheet paper or 13 inch by 80 inch, which is 2 meters long roll paper. The initial price of this printer is quite expensive uh, considering the size of it, but uh, if you calculate the ink use, then this printer is actually quite cheap because uh, instead of using standard cartridges it uses ink bottles which you fill into the containers, the six containers in the printer. And these these uh, bottles are quite large, it, each of them contains 70 milliliter ink which is quite a lot. That's it, uh, it's enough of a short introduction and uh, now I will start opening the box and see what's inside. Bag. Uh, I think this explains the reason and that is if I ever have to send it for service then I have to pack it in this plastic bag first before boxing it. CD containing the software for the configuration and I guess for printing and also a quick installation map, quick setup manual. It's not just uh, it's not a complete user manual. The user manual can be downloaded from Epson page. This is uh, as usual, many languages. I will only use one. This one. It's only two pages, but two large pages. So, and actually, the setup should be quite easy, as far as I understand.
some of the six uh, bottles color with the different color and this is actually what makes this printer cheap even though the initial starting costs are high because the actual printer price is quite high but each each of these bottles contains 70 milliliters of ink and that's quite a lot if you, if you buy a, an ordinary cartridge pin printer and compare it with this one you will see that you save a lot of the costs There is no USB cable with this printer, in fact the only cable which came with it is the power cable. Uh, the printer has got uh, Wi-Fi uh, connections, uh, Bluetooth connections and also Ethernet cable connection. So you can connect any way you like anyway. It does actually have a USB connection also. If you prefer that, but then you have to get a, a USB cable also. So let's set this aside. And the printer is actually in this large plastic bag also so you put like plastic bag in it and extra in my opinion totally unnecessary is it. Now just remove all these tapes. printer has a scanner also with it. I don't really need it but uh, there is no option without it. But I have actually seen a video on YouTube a guy complaining about the fact that this scanner is only an A4 size scanner. So well, it's slightly larger than A4, E4, than A4, but it's uh, it's not A3. And this guy was complaining about that. The, oh, it's a large printer. So why don't they say it's only an A4 size scanner? But uh, Epson actually doesn't keep that as a secret, so if you read everything about this printer, you will see that it's listed that it's only an A4 size scanner. And of course for this price you can't really get an A3 size scanner, so I don't know how he was uh, thinking. of 
blue tape, but uh, that's okay. Everything which moves is fixed with the tape for safe transport. Once I think I removed all the blue tape, I will check in the documentation to make sure that I really removed everything. Because I don't want to fire it up and then detect another tape that is not removed. Paper holder for 10 by 15 centimeter or 4 by 6 inch photographic paper. Uh, I don't know if I will use this, but well, it is here. It's supplied with it. Not that much, so we will wait. I will check in the documentation first. Anyway, the, the bottles are going to be filled into these containers from the top, one of each color. There are two blacks, one is uh, ordinary black uh, color and the other is archive quality, mainly for documentation. And the rest is just standard, the last one is, is uh, gray and there is uh, discussion on uh, on the internet about uh, how the grey is actually used, if it's used for black and white prints or uh, I mean black and white photographic prints or it's used only to improve the color prints quality but I will see if I can figure that out anyway this is how it looks like before it's fired up I wanted actually in, to, to buy it in white, but uh, unfortunately they are not selling in white. This this one this one has a little brother also, which is only an A4 uh, printer, and that is on the other hand sold in white. Actually, after uh, opening this uh, quick startup document uh, there is at least one error in this document so if you ever buy this printer be careful because it nowhere states that uh, you have to remove even the two blue tapes which uh, I removed uh, previously from here it does show one, two, three, four, five, six blue tapes to be removed, and that's not really the truth. And also, if you remember, uh, I had two blue tapes at the corners of the paper tray also, which I couldn't remove uh, in an easy way. So actually, I had to pull this paper tray out a bit to remove the two blue tapes from here and none of that is uh, stated, is shown in this document but after doing that uh, the paper tray can be pushed in and uh, lid closes uh, completely so that's, that's about it and actually the next step is to connect <coughs> to connect to the mains. It specifically says do not connect the USB. I have no intentions to do that. Uh, I will use the Epson Smart Panel app uh, to configure the printer, which is supposed to be the easiest one. So the next step for you 
should be to download the app or do it through the PC if you if you want to to do it that way. And then after that, uh, just following these steps. Step number five is the first link. Actually, in the meantime, I prepared, uh, opened all the uh, bottles, or at least uh, took off the plastic and uh, placed them in the order of uh, the inks. Uh, in the order, the inks will be filled. But in the meantime, I also checked uh, the quick start manual once again and this the sticker which was on the corner of the printer is actually not showing the blue tape what it shows is a transport uh, lock for the print head which is actually this so my interpretation of, of this uh, quick start manual is that uh, when it is prepared for transport you have to <coughs> switch the lever over to, to this position as it is now because uh, uh, this will lock the print head so it will not move further away than to this uh, The, the end of this, this part. So this is the normal position. The quick start manual says do you have a smart device and then there is a yes and no. If no then continue to section 2 this, this part. Uh, if yes then download smart panel uh, Epson smart, smart panel and continue from there and as I said earlier I already have downloaded this and uh, so I just uh, take the next step which should be actually to plug in to the mains and see what happens So far, nothing changed as far as I can see. So, after the yes, it says push the main button, which is this one, and then it is turned on. And you can If you want, you can set it up using the touch display or using the Epson Smart Panel. I don't know if there is an advantage of using the Smart Panel, but I will try. And it starts the main switch started flashing just like it is described. And then I have a question if I want to check that my product is supported by, by this uh, app. It, it seems that it did find a printer, um, but I say no, it doesn't matter because I just guess that it is supported. And it actually found the Epson AT. 8550 series printer as you can see it uh, so you just click on that uh, are you sure you want to choose this printer yes of course <coughs> uh, 
and at the same time the display says setting up a printer from Epson smart panel do not turn the power off so this is the next step and it just says uh, we will guide you through these stages step by step and uh, I think it's something which is it's supposed to be very very simple but let's see how it actually is guiding me I didn't open I know I have to open the lid and then uh, fill the ink holder cartridges but the printer is doing something so it's alive and on this uh, smart uh, app it says uh, we are in step one and it's supposed to be a five step setup And then uh, the advantage of using the smart <coughs> app, smart device app, is that it shows uh, pictures of of each step and uh, very clear explanations. But I think if I would need to start again, I would do it through the display because these are really just too much information. Anyway, we have to open everything and the cartridges also and open the first black. And it just says that uh, there is an upper limit here which is not really that clear, not as clear as in this picture but uh, and then it shows also how to open the bottle I will start with the ordinary black uh, and will fill it in the same order so first step is to open Just insert here, and I can see Google here. Google, blah, blah, blah. and you can actually see it. I don't know if you can, but I will change camera position. Yes, you can. And then when it is at uh, the top, there is a little bit more. So I can feel a little bit more. That's it. And it, uh, it uh, seems, uh, they, they did promise that it's not dripping. So I didn't see any drops when I removed the bottle. 
which is very good. So this is ink number one. And uh, the quick start only says that uh, if there is ink left in the bottle, set uh, screw on the lock again to be saved for later use. And that is actually there is more left. So now the next one. But before that, I will close the lid and open the next. And I just suppose it's keyed right. That's it. I don't know how critical it is to keep an eye on the level. I think I read somewhere that it is it cannot be overfilled. So even if it's uh, if you just leave it it should not be overfilled. And now on the next one is the cyan. And there are also different keys on the bottle. So actually it should not be possible to fill the cyan into the black or into any other color than cyan. So the next one will be yellow, of course, and then we open the yellow. Magenta. Now that I move the camera, you can better see also the levels and as it fills up. So I think this would have been better if they were completely transparent. I don't know why they made made it 
uh, out of this milky plastic. Because a clear color would be better. So, and the last one is the grey. It says somewhere in the manual also that you should not shake it or or uh, press the bottle, squeeze the bottle. Just unpack and unscrew and place it on top. That's it. The grey is also filled. And there is some left in each bottle, which will be good to use later on. And as I said before, each each bottle uh, contains 70 milliliter, which is quite a lot. It should last for at least one year of printing. And also one advantage is if the if any of these colors uh, just get used up but not the others then I can just replace with that color so now it says it takes another seven minutes so it takes a while to set it up but hopefully it's uh, it's all right it's, it's uh, done only once and then after this it should be quite easy to handle it I have no idea what it is doing. I couldn't see anything even though I opened the lid. And now after a lot of grinding noise uh, the display changed language to Swedish and uh, the smart app says continue with following the instructions on the display. So that's uh, <laughs> that was the app. It was not very useful, but anyway, I tried. I tested it. And what happened now is that after all this grinding, uh, what is it? One, two, three, about one third, no, a quarter of all the ink disappeared. I guess that. And that went into all the, uh, the print head and all, all what leads to the print head. And the display says uh, adjustment uh, is ready. And it actually says that uh, part of the ink is used for the adjustments. And then it says uh, adjusting the printer uh, and I can skip or continue it's recommended to continue so I will now it says uh, it will print the pattern And 
and it says to to fill the paper tray with A4 paper and that's already done so I can print it now and as you see the tray opens and the printing should begin there is also uh, some red light there but I think that's quite useless I don't know why they, they have it but it's supposed to give you an opportunity to check the print quality if you have a large uh, photo it's good to know from the start that it's working so that's it printed the serial number and uh, and the pattern, pattern with all the colors. So, so my interpretation is that uh, the printer is working. Let's see. So the printer is going to print five more pages to for all the alignments. And uh, from this pattern, I have to select the best one. So that's it. Uh, printer setup took about, uh, well, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour maximum, including some reading uh, from the start. Uh, if you don't if you are not making a video it will take about 20 minutes to a half an hour from opening the box until you can start printing uh, but uh, what happened was that the printer used up quite a bit of the ink so uh, before shutting down the printer i will fill up the tanks with uh, the rest of the ink I think I might just as well do it right. I will see if there is a service menu. Yes, it seems to be or maintenance maintenance probably yes there is one item here is it says fill up the ink yeah well that's just the standard Let's uh, save it, don't mix it. Gray is the last one. Magenta, rest magenta, and then the yellow, and then the cyan, and two blacks. BK is the first one. See the level. It did take a while before it started dripping down, but then it stops. So now it seems that the black is filled to the maximum. I will see if there is more in the bottle. No, it seems empty. And then the 
photographic black I don't know why it takes some time before the ink starts dripping down, maybe uh, the printer sense uh, sensing the levels and how much it can fill, I don't know. No, the science starts immediately. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. The printer is now ready for real use and in the next video I will show some of the mistakes I made uh, with my first prints also. So welcome back next time and see some use of the printer also. Thank you very much once again and please don't forget to subscribe to my videos.